I have already shared on my blog for my premium members the behind the scenes video and some images from my first session made entirely with RGB tube LED lights. If you missed that one, please go check it out. Now the session you're about to see was made shortly after with a completely different approach. Now RGB tube LED lights can be fun to use as props, accessories or simply to light your subject. Let's continue exploring their possibilities. Working with colors can be tricky. There are so many options, so many combinations possible, you can easily feel overwhelmed. I'm currently working with the Godox TL120s and for this session I am using eight of them. I'm not gonna lie, it took me some time to get used to them, to feel comfortable working with them. They're faster to set up, easier to shoot with because you can see immediately the results on your subject and on your scene. I will share more about my experience with these lights in a future video. Right now I want to concentrate on the difficult task of having a decent exposure on your subject and keeping as much detail as possible on your tube LED lights. Finding the right balance will require a little bit of practice. You can easily have a perfect exposure on your model but lose all the details in your tube LED lights. Or it can be the other way around. You can have all the details that you want in your lights but have your model way, way underexposed. You can actually see this in the footage um, that I filmed with my 360 degrees camera. It is incapable of rendering correctly the high contrast and the high saturated colors. Unlike the session that I already shared on my blog, here the lights are always used as props. Therefore, they're always visible in the shot. The easiest way to make it work is to have your model really close, really close to your lights. But let's be honest, you don't want to do this all the time. So I had to accept for some of my images to have my model initially slightly underexposed.
after a few tries, after a few sessions, I knew how far I could go to actually be able to recover some of these details in the shadows in post. Working those transitions ain't easy, especially when you jump into complementary colors. Sometimes the transition is too harsh, so you wanna first start with one color and add, when you add another color, add a color that is kind of nearby. And then work on the positioning of your lights and see how you can make it as soft as possible between the two. Of course, the goal ultimately is to reach that point where you're able to combine any of these colors together, to use them creatively, effectively, and to convey emotions and to better tell your stories. I'm currently working with eight tubes, giving me a lot of creative options. I can create crazy shapes, chaotic lines, a lot of stuff. I'm only scratching the surface here, so be sure to check out my future posts here on IG and on Vero. Have you considered using RGB tube LED lights for your work? If the answer is yes, please tell us for what kind of work in the comments below. And this is it. I don't have any more lights available for this video. So I guess that I will catch you in the next one this Sunday. Please take care. And until then, please have a good one. You can call me